All right, good morning, and welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you made it by. Um, we're going to look at uh, Bitcoin today and see what's going on in the market today. It's looking like we got some major hidden bullish divergence uh, developing on the chart, so I want to show you that as well. Uh, I want to look at uh, Litecoin and Ethereum, see if there's any kind of uh, correlation and what's going on, and see if we can figure out what the price action is doing and um, and see where price is going. I'm still bearish here. I'm still expecting a downward push. Uh, as I look at this uh, move, this, this just isn't finished. Uh, it's incomplete right here. We are having a little bit of a pullback. No big deal. Should have a good downward push at some time. It could be, be this afternoon. So watch out. Be careful. Uh, let's trade this market safely, okay? Don't be too, too... Um, uh, don't be too... Uh, what, how do we say it? Don't be... Uh, too quick to jump on the bull bandwagon quite yet as you see price pushing up. I know everybody starts getting those emotions and guys, you got to be in control of those emotions. The market will go up and down, up and down, up and down. And so in these up movements, you know, you just, you just can't be, uh, you can't be too emotional guys. It's moving up correctively. It's not moving up impulsively. Um, even if it is coming up, it's going to get a pullback and then and, and then a, a push. And so we'll be able to tell in that wave if it's, if it's an impulsive wave or not. And it, it just isn't. OK, so uh, right now, the, the way it's uh, measuring and the way everything's looking, uh, we're bearish, guys. We are bearish. So don't uh, we're being set up. You're being set up. If you're thinking bull right now, you're not ready for bull, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. And don't forget, I'm just here to share my opinions, not here to tell you what to do with your money. I am never uh, I'm going to tell you uh, what to do with your money. I'm not a financial advisor. I can't do that. All right. I just can't do it. All right. With that being said, let's jump into the BTC chart. <clears throat> let's talk about the divergence I was talking about. Now, what uh, hidden what divergence is uh, is when the RSI is doing something different than price. Okay, now um, you know everybody knows. I think a lot of people know about regular divergence. Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you a place where we have bearish divergence here. Um, uh, we have uh, price action actually making an incline from that peak to that peak right there. While you have on the RSI, you've got uh, a de decline there. So that's bearish divergence. That's standard regular divergence. Okay, but hidden divergence is a little different. You still measure it from the peaks. But hidden divergence is, is when the RSI is actually pushing to the upside. Okay, and this isn't quite ready for di uh, bullish divergence. But if it, if it continues on up like this, guys, uh, we will have it. Uh, so if price moves up like this, okay, and we get a line like that on the RSI, and then, but price is only going to be up, you know, in that region, uh, you know, in the if it only makes it up into that region right there, then we're going to have a downward move in in the price. So, so what you have is price, the the strength of the move is increasing. Okay, uh, the strength of the move is increasing, going to the upside. Okay, it's it's becoming overbought, but that the whatever strength that that, that move is having, it's not having enough impact on the price. Uh, and so, in other words, the bearish pressure is continually pushing, keeping it down. I'm going to sneeze, guys. Excuse me, one second. I tell you what, between the coughs and the yawns and the sneezes, I don't know how you guys watch my channel. <laughs> I'm sorry, really am. Um, that being said, so uh, anyway, yeah, that's how the divergence will uh, play out. Uh, if once once we get a higher high in this uh, in this region, uh, pri that'll price that'll take price up as well. Um, excuse me, um, but uh, it's not going to take it up significantly enough to you know to affect. Uh, to affect you know the overall trajectory, that means you know you're going to have a lower low here. Eventually, it's going to get oversold and want to turn back around on the RSI, and then we're going to get a dump uh, like so. So that's that's what hidden uh, divergence looks like there, and I just wanted to share that with you. It's not there yet, but it's 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 setting up for that. So be careful, uh, be careful for that. All right, now let's uh, look in. Let's look also into a couple of the uh, my trend lines here, and you just kind of see the way price action has has uh, worked here. We got uh, a trend line. Oh, sorry. Let's try it again. Let me lock that guy right there. Beautiful. Uh, you, you'll see that we have you know a trend line. Once we broke that trend line, it came down. But uh, price moved away from the trend line before it came down. Uh, you have another uh, scenario here. Let me zoom in here. Get the RSI off the screen. There we go. Let me get this. Uh, get that off the screen as well. There we go. We got some room on the chart there. You got price actually moving away from the trend line before it comes on down and breaks 
uh, that's often the pattern. So here you have the same thing. You got price moving away from the trend line uh, before it's going to end up breaking and coming on down. Now uh, I'm going to, you know, I don't know if we're going to break this high or not, but I would like to not. I would like not to break it. Um, it would it would just make it a simple count. Um, it would make it a simple count for us. We'd have something like a you know a one, uh, two, you know three, four, five. We that get us down to the you know sixty eight hundred dollar region. I would like to see that uh, personally. Um, so you know whether we get that or not, I'm not sure. So if we break the high, you know obviously that count is going to be invalidated uh, and it'll be something else. But if we don't break that high, that'll be a nice it'll be a nice count there. But, it's simple to say. Let's look at the micro here. See if we can make some sense of this wave here. Just get some get some easy feelings about whether this is corrective or impulsive. We just got to push up to the upside and then a wick down. So we got some pressure to the downside, obviously. Um, let me just draw, uh, you know, show you what I'm seeing just right off. Um, I got a three wave move there and then a down push. So we got another three wave move. That looks like a, a WXY right there. Um, so this looks like a W X. I uh, should let me try that again. This looks like a W. There's a three wave right there. X to the downside. Another three wave to the upside. Y. But then we had um, this move to the downside. This might be a Z. We got another three wave move to the upside. It's that final high there. It's just breaking these highs. You thought the correction was done. But it's not. I find that you know Bitcoin uh, has been doing this a lot lately. Just um, like, I mean, it just it just does it. Like here, you thought this was done right here. We wicked down. We came. No, it wanted to come up and just hit that high one more time and, and then come on down. Uh, it's just been doing that over and over and over. Um, like even right here, you got a three wave move. It came on down. Nope, it hit it again. Uh, it came on down. It hit it again. You know. And then uh, came on down. It just it just wants to keep tagging those highs, but but not make any uh, significant um, increase in price, right? Not not make any any real progress in price um, with any. It's just hitting the stops, you know. It's hitting those. Um, it's just hitting those areas of um, of where traders might put their stops. So. Anyway, uh, I can't say that we're not going higher. We might go higher. We might go, you know, I, I I can't imagine us getting up into the seventy four hundred dollar region. That's pretty pretty high. If if we get up there, guys, we got a pretty bullish move on our hands. But uh, but then we'd have to figure out what do we do with this count here. Um, you know, the only way I could say this is bullish is that somehow I've got some kind of a leading diagonal here. Um, I don't like the way it looks though. But let's see it one two. Yeah, three, four, five. I I don't like that at all. I don't see a clear three waves and all of those things. Um, so not sure about that. Whether that's a you know a leading diagonal or not. This didn't even this didn't retrace as deep as I'd like to see it retrace on a leading diagonal. I usually like to see three waves to the downside coming down to this region and then we make our way up. So it's not looking like a leading diagonal, but that's the only way I can interpret that bullish here. Actually, you know, we're getting a bit of a rejection here. So that's a that's good news. We'll see if that follows through to the downside here. Um, but, uh, yeah, to me, I'm not too worried about this corrective wave. I, I, I said it in yesterday's li live stream and I said it, you know, you know, t you know, saying it today and yesterday that, you know, price could come up into the $7,300 region. We understood that, uh, as long as we don't break this high, if we break that high, it's going to change the count a little bit, but not that big of a deal. But, uh, right now I'm still looking to the downside here. Um, in fact, we're getting the push uh, now to the downside right on camera. Uh, we'll see if that, uh, like I said, if we get some continuation with that, that'd be pretty good. I'm still in my short. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I'm looking for a one, two, three. I'd like to see this break this trend line. Now, if we go over to Ethereum, you know, we've already broken the trend line. OK, uh, right here, we already we already broke it. Now, if we uh, change the trend line to over here now, sometimes we have to do that, uh, that that means, you know, I like to move it to where I have the most touches. So right here. If we change, I got one, yeah, it's in the middle there. You know, you know, who knows where to, I like, so the most obvious place we put it right was right here. It had uh, three touches, had a broke to the downside. It kind of came and retested that area, but um, and now it's, uh, you know, getting some rejection there. So let's see if we get some follow through to the downside here. Um, Litecoin now, on the other hand, oh, buddy, we had a nice push to the upside. Um Let's see what Litecoin did. Litecoin, 
again, the only reason I look at all these charts is I look at looking for correlation, looking for help in, in understanding price action here. So we did have a, a break down here from this little area, but that was just a, a, a three-wave pullback there. Uh, and then we've got to move up here. We haven't even hit the one-to-one -one extension yet of this move here. So it's still looking corrective. It's not looking impulsive. Let's zoom out just a little bit here on the one hour, see if we can see what that looks like within context here. It's a nice four-wave. That's my count so far, guys. Uh, one. So to finish this out, well, you know, this is an A, B, and a C right here. We got a one C wave needs five waves. So I'm looking for that move right there. Um, so this is still looking corrective to me. It's not looking impulsive. Um, the best I can tell there. Let's zoom in on that a little bit and, and see if it's, uh, uh, See again, it's you know it's not reached the one six one eight yet. Uh, this becomes an, let's put a line of death up here, guys. Here at the one wave, if we get to uh, forty four dollars ninety two cents, guys, and, and break that, this is not a four wave. Uh, remember, the fourth wave can't break the one generally. So uh, I allow it to wick it just a little bit, but as long as it doesn't break it substantially like that. So one, two, three, four. If we don't come up in this region and come on down, we're good. So, if, you know, three wave and then boom, we come down to the downside. Okay, so that looks like it's going to finish. And that's been my count for a while too. And that measures really nicely uh, on a uh, uh, impulsive scale there. Uh, we came down here to the 1618 here, even past it, uh, came up here back to this region, um, this confluent zone right there should have a push down to the downside. That's what I'm looking for here uh, personally. Okay, back to BTC here. We're not getting that rejection is not following through. Uh, looks like we're getting another push to the upside. Excuse me. So let's see if we can figure out where price might end up coming uh, if it comes, um, I don't know where to put this guy. Maybe right there. We're at the one to one extension. 127 is uh, 7306. This 1618, guys, where we get impulsive is uh, up, uh, looking at uh, 7354. Um, but I don't even like that. There's so much overlap, so much overlap in these waves here. So um, not liking the wave shape there, guys. Pretty cryptic, pretty, pretty difficult. So. Again, not too worried yet, uh, but if price starts, uh, let's see, where would I start getting uh, a little nervous about the bull side here? Um, you know, I don't even know, to be honest with you. Zoom out just a little bit. RSI is kind of steadily moving up like I was talking about here, and price is kind of... You know, pushing up a little bit. Probably price probably needs to push up a little bit up into this region uh, before it comes down. So yeah, I'd probably be looking around the seventy-three fifty to seventy-four hundred dollar range uh, here, seventy-three eighty, and and right in here in this zone right here. Um, just as I'm thinking about it, guys, just where price generally would come, right in that zone right there, might be a good place to come back. Um, and then, you know, we'd have basically a two-wave move, and then we'd get our third wave to the downside. And that might finish us out. Um, ideally, though, I'd like to see it just boom, 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 finish. Because this is such a you know, hard wave to count. Um, I don't understand that wave right there. I don't know how to count it. So do I count it like this? I don't think so. So these wicks make it quite difficult to know what to do with that. So uh, sorry about that, guys. But uh, again, just looking at standard technical analysis here, got some hidden bearish divergence working here. So um, let's see here. Yeah, no divergence to speak of really there. So yeah, good. Uh, looking good, guys. Still looking good to the downside. I'm not too uh, too worried. I do want to zoom in on Litecoin here. As we finish up the and just kind of look at this wave here and see if it any way to see it impulsively uh, or is it corrective? I don't want to assume. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that could be a considered an impulse wave for sure. You got a one, two, three, four, five. You got five waves there, a three wave pullback, and now you're getting. But here's the problem here you're getting a five wave move uh, here, but the problem is, you know, that five wave move is not. Uh, so you're getting a 535, five, okay, but that 535 five is not measuring. 
it's not extending to that 1618. Okay, we're so far away from the 1618. Uh, this thing ha has to get some legs. It starts. To, it needs to skyrocket here any minute uh, if, it, if it's going to, you know, get up there. Okay, we're going to have to or have a pullback and then a skyrocket. Uh, it just doesn't look like it's, it's poised to do that. Um, it looks more like we've got a, you know, one, two, even that's a three wave, you know, prospect right there. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I mean, the best I can see here is we got one, two, three, four, five, maybe. We get we get a fifth wave right up in there, um, potentially. So who knows? Let's see what the RSI is telling us here. We're getting in the overbought region here, uh, reaching 80 right now. Um, no divergence that I can see there. Let's go to the one-hour chart and see if there's any divergence there on the one-hour Okay, so yeah, in, in the one hour, um, price is moving up in this region here, um, while, and, but it's not coming, you know, making any higher highs than these peaks, and, uh, you know, strength is fizzling out here. So strength is moving up into the overbought region, so we're going to have that hidden bearish divergence as well. Uh, forming as this comes up a little bit higher. So still looking for a little bit of a higher move today, looking for maybe 7350 uh, to even 7400 and Bitcoin uh, could come on up here to uh, remember our, our line of death here is about 40, uh, 4490, 45, uh, $45 here roughly on Litecoin um, is our line of death for our count. Uh, so looking for one more wave to the downside. If, uh, if we pass $45, then that is invalidated, okay? And then uh, Ethereum, uh, getting some uh, follow through there on that wave, so that's good. Uh, let's see if there's any kind of uh, divergence here on the two hour chart. Um, down, it's not really. Uh, I mean, it, it does have some slight divergence here to the upside, to the bull side, but it's not, you know, powerful. Uh, we got more uh, divergence to the downside here, but that move has already played out. Um, we do have a little bit of divergence. Well, I mean, the price moved down while RSI stayed about the same. So that's close to bullish divergence, but not quite the same. We do have a bullish move happening here. But again, I'm looking for, you know, one, two, three, four, and need a fifth wave to the downside. Uh, just from an Elliott Wave standpoint, it would make me happy if and, and, and make the count correct if we don't pass uh, 146.27, if we don't pass that range. That'd be nice. Then we get a downward push there. So 146.27, uh, if it goes past that, then, um, you know, I mean, it could go higher, but the line of death for my four is going to be up here at 148.89. If we get up there, we're looking bullish, guys. We're not looking... Uh, bearish okay um, so we got a one two three four and then a five we get a push down to this region one more wave I think that'll give us some uh, divergence down here as well to the upside and we get a good push to the upside a good bull move potentially all right with all that being said you need to be ready for me to be wrong okay so always be ready for me to be wrong what's your plan what's your plan if this thing starts turning bull because at the end of the day we've been waiting for a move uh you know this move to finish we've been waiting for this so we can take it north right so what is your plan uh for that so we've been a b c we're reaching that range right now you know, it's not a horrible entry at these levels right now, even if you waited through some drawdown. But, you know, that's hard for people to do. You know, um, you know that'd be a, you know, you're looking at a four to, shoot, eight dollar swing and, you know, to go negative if it comes down, if you if you bought in this region. OK, and so that's and shoot. And if we're totally wrong and it continues down, that's the scary point. So I'm waiting for a, a downward push, even if we get some kind of a. Uh, an impulse here. I'm going to wait for a three-way pullback that I can measure, and then we're going to take it to the upside, hopefully. 
So uh, yeah, that's my plan. Uh, I don't FOMO. I try not to enter in on. I don't. I don't buy on green candles. I buy when price is coming down. So I have some targets down here, and I've given you some targets in each of these uh, things. So let's watch price today, and that's what we're looking at in the market. I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. If there's anything worth uh, sharing, and if I'm home and able to uh, jump on, I, I might do that. But uh, I'll make sure I take care of you guys in the Telegram group as always, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. You guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to like subscribe share all the information that uh, that that i've shared um let your let your uh, trader and people know that my channel exists and uh, let's talk the channel up i need 120 subs guys between now and the end of the year i don't know if we're gonna make it uh i don't know we'll see if we get a spurt of subs here if price uh, you know, as price goes sideways man then the market just starts going you know the youtube channel gets stagnant and so but as price starts moving it starts picking up again so anyway don't uh, don't get stagnant on me leave those comments thank you so much i hope you guys have a fantastic day we'll talk to you later Bye bye